Hi, welcome back to Homestead to Health. My name is Caitlin, and today what I am putting together for you is uh, something called Garrett Juice. Garrett Juice is a fertilizer and with one or two extra ingredients could also be a pesticide. So I'm gonna walk you through uh, how to put this together and why you should put this together. In order to put uh, Garrett Juice together, you're gonna need a couple of things. I've got a five, five gallon uh, bucket here because I'm going to be mixing a lot of this so that I can uh, fertilize my entire plot garden. I do have this little sprayer which is how I'm going to be applying it to my garden but this obviously doesn't hold very much and I have a very large garden. So that's why I'm going to be make, mixing up a bigger batch of this so that whenever I need refills I have it ready to go. So Garrett juice isn't something that I just made up uh, on a whim. It, it's something that's already been very well established for a really long time. Other farmers and homesteaders and the local groups around here um, they're all pretty aware of it, but if you're not, Garrett Juice was invented by somebody called Howard Garrett. I just so happened to stumble upon this book at Half Price Bookstore, and um, I learned a lot from this book. Now, this is obviously a book about Texas organic vegetable gardening, thus the name. But this guy, Howard Garrett, he also runs a website called Dirt Doctor, where there is a lot of information out there. Uh, also different recipes for things like fire ant control and things like that. So if you've got an interest in things like that, I would definitely check out that website and I'll link it down below in the description. A little bit more about the author though, um, here in the back that I, I read that he also wrote a book about uh, farming down in the Gulf. Now I'm actually from the Gulf part of Texas, uh, down by Houston and Galveston. Those are my old stomping grounds and I can tell you that it is really hot, it is really humid and things like pest, mildew, mold, fungi, all of these things that could really damage your garden. This guy apparently knows so much about that that he could write a book and be a leading voice in how to deal with those kinds of things. And so these are the kind of people that I want to learn from. Those people that go to these areas that I know are really challenging to grow in and they thrive and are very successful. So I'm uh, really glad to be sharing his information today. Garrett Juice is a blend of manure, compost tea, seaweed, natural apple cider vinegar, and molasses. It can be used on any age plants, but it is always best to spray any liquid materials during the cooler part of the day. For soil treatment, the application rate can be doubled. Garrett Juice provides major nutrients, trace minerals, and other beneficial components. Um, also, there is a note that he put in here to that to make it a pesticide, all you need to do is add one ounce of citrus oil per gallon. Also, uh, you could use something like garlic and pepper tea, which is it is what it is. It's garlic and pepper, put it into a blender and then made into a tea and applied to your garden. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to make this fertilizer and then make it to where not only does it fertilize the garden, but it also gets rid of the tougher to kill squash bugs. And that's why we're going to add citrus oil. Again, I encourage you to check out the description below. Not only will I put uh, Howard Garrett's information down there uh, with his website, dirtdoctor.com. Also down in the description, I'm going to detail this exact recipe. Um, I am going to multiply it by five though, because like I said, I have to do it for five gallons, not just the one that this recipe is intended for. So I'm going to do my apple cider vinegar first. So that was five tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and now five tablespoons of molasses. Can I help you? You want to stir? Okay, stir. And then I'm going to add five tablespoons of liquid seaweed. This is actually liquid kelp, but that's our secret. Two. Oops. Oops. No, you just spilled it in the bucket so you don't have to add more. Four, <laughs> five, perfect. <laughs> That's funny. You know what? I feel like I'm a gardener. I'm like, if you don't have liquid sea seaweed, uh, yeah. backyard kelp will work. <laughs> or, why did I give her that accent? She's got like a fancy, she's got something fancy. This next ingredient is actually a compost tea. Now normally I would make my compost tea out of my rabbit manure, but for the sake of this video and for the sake of people who don't happen to have rabbits, I'm gonna be using my fish fertilizer to make compost, uh, compost tea. Fish fertilizer is fish poop, but it's got so many awesome nutrients and minerals that are gonna go straight into the soil, straight to the plant, and really give it a big boost. I've in the past used fish fertilizer by itself as a uh, fer 
fertilizer. And I mean, just the very next day, you could see your, your plants having perked up just a little. So this is really awesome stuff. I picked this up at Walmart. Um, I picked my molasses up at the grocery store. And then the rest of my ingredients I got off of Amazon. So these are pretty accessible things. And you can actually buy Garrett juice wholesale from uh, Amazon or other places. But I just chose to get all of the components so that I could ensure myself uh, a bunch of Garrett juice for a long time. So I'm just going to prepare this fish fertilizer by the directions and add it to my concoction here. So I'm stirring my witch's brew now, but the very last uh, ingredient that I have to add is the citrus oil. And the citrus oil is going to be what gets to those harder to kill bugs. Um, right now, a lot of my plants are just getting ready to set fruit. I've got flowers on my tomatoes, I've got peppers with flowers, and I have a couple of greens that are being eaten up and I'm not ready for them to be. So not only is this going to give my soil and the plants a boost, the citrus oil is going to protect them from those pests. Out of all of the ingredients, this one is the most likely to burn your plants. Whenever the instructions say to uh, feed this to your, your garden at a time where it is coolest, you could do it in the morning, but the days quickly heat up. So I think that it's best to do it in the evening like so, so that it has all night to stay cool and it has less of a chance to burn your plants. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add five ounces to the five gallons, so one ounce per gallon. And then I'm gonna get this mixed up and I'm gonna go to the garden. I can do it, baby. It's heavy. Okay, you wanna do it for me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, maybe because I'm not even smart enough to open the lid. <coughs> Nothing, it's empty. Cool. You want me to hold it? It's sure got bleach water in it. It's not got bleach water. I used it with uh, fish fertilizer. All right, ready for this? You wanna do it up here or you want me to do it on the ground? Mm. I'm doing it Oh, that's gross. I'm sorry. It's Well y'all, I am quickly losing daylight. I can already see that the fireflies are coming out and I really got to get to work. I got to uh, finish fertilizing the rest of my garden. But I do wanna make one last note before I said goodbye. So whenever it comes to pesticides, whether it's organic like the Garrett juice we made today or otherwise, um, I just think that it's pretty prudent to um, just be careful whenever you're applying it to your plant. Now, Garrett juice, is a fertilizer that you can put on your, the foliage of your plant as well but whenever you really go to fertilize your plants you're trying to fertilize the root system because that's how the plants feed um, the only reason I would be spraying the foliage today is because the Garrett juice has the citrus oil in it which acts as a pesticide um, because of that though as I'm spraying the plant I'm being pretty cautious well as cautious as I can be not to spray anything that I think that a beneficial bug might get to so like the blossoms of my plants uh, those are where I want bugs I want bugs in the blossoms so I'm being pretty diligent whenever it comes to spraying the plant that I avoid the blossoms because even though I want the bad bugs gone I want the good bugs to stay and so I'm not going to spray the foliage of anything that I think doesn't need it right now. Um, things that are being damaged by caterpillars, things that are being damaged or could be damaged by squash bugs. That's what I'm focusing my attention on. Um, I think probably the greatest lesson that I have learned in the garden so far is if it's not broke, don't fix it. And uh, that means don't fuss with it too much. Nature knows what it's doing. It's been doing it without you for beyonds and beyonds of years and so uh, if it's not broke don't fix it I do have quite a few plants that really do need the foliage spray but speaking of the plants that I have in my garden I'm excited to show you in my next vlog just exactly what plants I have my next vlog is going to be a garden walkthrough where I talk to you all about what I'm growing and why I'm growing it 
Uh, like I said, I'm quickly running out of daytime. If you haven't already, please subscribe. You don't want to miss the walkthrough. And it was really nice hanging out with y'all this evening. I'll see y'all later. What's the matter, George? You not want to play with you? Cluck oh, Norris George. says, Oh, George. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, Chicky. Oh, Chicky. What are you doing? You want a teacher? Uh oh, George, you're about to get messed up. Say night night. Mm -hmm. He's like, all right, whatever. It's going to be his first night in the chicken coop. I'm excited.